Hi, in this Tips and Tricks HQ tutorial, we will be taking a look at the WP Express Checkout plugin and more specifically, how you can use it to create and sell physical products from your WordPress website to your customers. The WP Express Checkout allows website owners to create physical product purchase buttons, add shipping and tax charges, collect buyers' shipping addresses, and stores this sensitive information so that items can be posted after a successful transaction is complete. Once you complete this tutorial, you'll be on the road to creating your own product similar to the one shown on my screen where customers can click the buy now button and check out with the safe and secure PayPal payment gateway. Let's take a look at how you can start creating your own physical product page. I've just landed on my WordPress dashboard and you can see I'm in that products menu under WP Express Checkout. I've previously created one physical product which we just saw on the front end of my website and you can see this in the back end now. You can see my product, the price of that product and the short code. I'll run through with you in just a second how you can create your own physical product from the start. Although you'll first need to ensure you've got that Tips and Tricks HQ free WP Express Checkout plugin installed and activated and you'll also need to make sure that you have completed the required settings such as entering your PayPal credentials. So if you haven't done those two things, go ahead now, pause this tutorial and make sure you do them before you proceed. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and we'll click on that add new product menu and we'll create our first physical product together. Clicking on that brings you to that add new product interface with all the different fields that we'll need to fill in to create our very own physical product. We'll give our product a title and a description first. Once you've given your product a title and description, we'll scroll down and we'll enter a price into the price field. This will be the base price of your product. So that is before any shipping, tax or priced variations are added. So my couch is going to be $149. So I'll add that in now. If we scroll down, we can add variations in. So for physical items, these are great. It could be the color of your item. Um, if you're selling clothes, it can be the size of your item. And you can also add different prices depending on the variations. For example, if you added uh, a certain color and that color is gonna cost you more to produce and um, send out, then you can add that into that variation and only those customers who then select that variation will pay that higher price. So I'll run through a quick variation with you now. So I'll cl click that create group button to create my first group of variations. I'll name it color. And then each one of these will be a different color. So we've got a gray couch. It doesn't change the price. We've got a white couch for sale. And maybe we have a black couch. Once you've added in them and you're happy with that variation, you can create another group of variations if you choose. So this one might be the type of fabric. So if I add in fabric, basic fabric, which doesn't add a price variation, but maybe if we add in luxury, maybe it adds in $25. So we'll add in the price modifier there of 25. So I'm happy with my variations and I want them to be drop down and maybe we we'll want this one to be a radio button. I'll just do those two different ones so we can see that when I've published this out and we go to the front end. Scrolling down further, quantity. So for your physical item, it may make sense to just have one of the quantity and not allow your customers to order more than one per sale. Although if you've got something that they may wanna order more than one of, maybe you're selling t-shirts, you might allow, allow the customers to specify their quantity. So for my catch, it just makes sense for the customer to purchase one. Scrolling down further, you can add in shipping and tax. So this is an important section for physical products. I'll really draw your attention to this shipping and tax section. So add in your shipping cost. For the catch, it might be $50 as that's quite a bulky item. So you can do this on a per product basis. You can add in that shipping cost. Tax, maybe we'll just do 10% tax. And this is a physical product. Ensure that you check this so that your customer's shipping address is collected when they check out. 
If you don't check this, you won't get your customer's shipping address and then you're not gonna have a way of knowing their address to ship it when they complete a successful transaction. So just make sure you do check that when selling a physical product. If you've got a download URL, this is specifically used for digital products, but maybe your physical product includes a download URL as well. You can add that by selecting the file. Product thumbnail, I'll quickly select that image of the lounge just to add that in to make my product a little bit nicer. And that gives the customers an idea of what they're actually purchasing. So I'll select that from there, insert it there, perfect. You can allow the customers to use coupons if you've got that enabled. I'll just use the global settings for now. And we're pretty much ready to scroll up and publish out this product. So I've now published out my couch. And once I add this to a page on my WordPress website or I add it to a menu using a widget, or I do add it somewhere on the front end of my website, my customers will be able to go ahead and they will be able to check out with my product button. So let's copy that short code Let's add it to a page and we'll go from there. You might like to give your page a title, furniture, that's what I'll be selling from this page. I can add a, a number of my different products, my different product short codes on that furniture page to sell different types of furniture if I wish to. So I'll simply paste in that product short code. If you want a fancier look on the front end, if I just paste in that short code and I publish out my page, it's only going to show that buy now button. If I want to add my thumbnail and some details, simply add in template equals one as so. So once you've got that in, let's publish out and see what that looks like from the front end. We'll go and we'll view that page. Perfect. We've got our nice product there with the buy now button that the customers can use to check out with this product. It's a physical product, so it's got the base price and then it's got my tax amount and my shipping so the customers can see how much they pay and then total cost. Once your customers are happy with that, they'll go ahead and they'll click that buy now button and they'll be directed to the pop-up window where they can check out. So they can choose the color, might like to have a white one and these are those radio buttons that I was talking about. They might like to choose the luxury fabric I don't have a coupon code and I've checked that the base, the tax and the shipping and that's come to $2.41 and 40 cents. I'm happy with that. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check out with my PayPal account. I'll run through a sandbox transaction now with you just so you can see how the customer's address is collected for shipping purchases when you mark that it is a physical product. Let's go ahead and we'll do that now. So during the checkout process, your customer will be able to choose their shipping address. It'll have the default shipping address of their PayPal account, although they can change that by clicking that change button and add a new address. So for now, I'm happy with that one main street and that should show in the back end of our website and we'll run through that soon. So as a customer, I'm happy with my address. I'm going to pay with my PayPal balance and I'm going to pay now. So as a customer, I'm now directed to the thank you page after my successful transaction. My address for shipping has been stored in the back end of the website so that the admin of this website can then ship out my couch to me. And we'll have a look where that's located right now. So I've just headed back to my WordPress dashboard. We'll go to WP Express Checkout and that orders menu. You'll see that completed couch orders come through there. And we can see here the shipping address. So that pretty much sums up this tutorial of how you can create a physical product using the WP Express Checkout plugin on your WordPress website. So it's a very easy plugin to use when you're selling basic physical items and you want to process it through PayPal. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. If you have any further questions or queries, don't hesitate to contact us at Tips and Tricks HQ.